Hello everyone and welcome to Karatin, our new short workout video sessions uh, designed for you to keep up with your Karate training during these quarantine times. Today's workout is going to be a 15 minute workout made out of 15 different exercises, so each of one minute. Um, we will work on warming up, how to warm up uh, for your exercises, we will work on Kihon, so basic technique in Karate, we will work on Kata, so the form, and we will work on Kumite, today without a sparring partner to keep ourselves safe, however, we will still do some combinations which will increase your uh, Kumite skills. And at the end of today's workout, we are also going to do some cool down exercises as well as finishing with some nice meditation. So, as you can see, we are doing this at home, and in my case, um, I have this area with carpet. I'm pretty sure the carpet is going to move throughout today's exercise, but we'll just adapt and see how it goes. The first um, exercise that we are going to have is a warm-up. So, we are going to do some uh, skip and punch. If you have a skipping rope at home, you can substitute this exercise for skipping rope. However, you can also do this version. And I promise the neighbors are not going to be very angry at you that you're jumping around, especially if you have, like me, some carpet. It kind of takes the sound away. So, I will get my uh, clock ready and for you guys you will see the one minute clock up here in the video I will put it later in uh, the edition of the video. However, I need to use mine here So our one minute uh, First warm-up is going to start right now So you're just going to skip on the spot and you can start adding some punches as you go So you're moving your legs. You're moving your arms You're starting just very light movement if you want you can come to a Karate position to a guard, a fighting position. My carpet is already going bye-bye, but we don't mind. We just keep working out. So you start activating the cardio activity and the muscular activity. Right now we are at 30 seconds almost, so halfway into our first minute warm-up. Please don't talk at the same time just like I'm doing, because I promise you're going to get much more tired. And the last 20 seconds we can start adding a little bit of power into our movements because the muscles are starting to be awakened and we are starting to get ready. So last 10 seconds, a little bit more, a little bit speed and you feel the heart pumping, you feel the blood going and that's how we finish our first minute. Our second minute warm-up is going to be some squat and leg raises. So please position your feet slightly uh, wider than your shoulders, toes pointing out, and you're going to make sure as you squat down that your feet are flat down on the floor and that your knees are pointing outwards. Now the first uh, third of this minute, so the first 20 seconds, you're going to be elevating your knees straight up and straight down. And there's no rush for this, you just keep a good rhythm, okay? So that minute starts now. You come up, lift your knee all the way to your chest, Keep a good posture, keep your heels down, keep the knees pointing out. You can go as low as your mobility allows you, but try your best not to raise your heels. Now we come to the second, uh, third, so we are going to change our movement of the knees into this outward movement, making sure to be careful that the other knee does not tilt inwards, okay? So as we are coming up, the leg that stays down cannot tilt inwards, okay? Tension out. And the last 20 seconds, you will reverse the movement, so circles in. And keep the squats going. Now you are also activating and stretching your hips with some dynamic stretching. So adding movement to your stretching. And that finishes the second minute. For the next one, we have a downwards dog walking into a push-up, all right? So I'm going to put my clock a little bit further away and start in this position. So make like a pyramid shape with your body. If you're mobile enough, of course, you can pull your hands all the way to your feet, but this also activates the stretch on the back of your legs. Then you walk down to a push-up position, fully straight back, hands under your shoulders, do a push-up, and walk back 
to the initial position and hold yourself for a second, okay? So we start our minute right now. So walking down, always breathing, push up, walk back. I'm talking at the same time, but breathing is essential with every exercise. It gives you oxygen to your muscles, yeah? Makes everything work better. So, we usually say during our trainings that active moments should have uh, breathing out, exhaling, and passive moments should have breathing in. That is, the active moment being that uh, place in the exercise where you are pushing the most. So the push-up might be the time to exhale, yeah? And now, this exercise is not so much cardio, but it is definitely working out your muscles in various areas, from the calves uh, all the way up to the legs, finishing this one minute, uh, making sure that everything is getting strong. So that takes us to the next one, which starts from a triangle position. So triangle reaches. We are going to make a uh, triangle shape with our body. That means that our legs are going to be further apart, maybe about two times the length of your shoulders. And you start with your arms in the air, just like this, and you tilt down to one side, leaving one hand pushing up, 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 and the other one going all the way down as close as you can to your foot. And then you reverse the movement and repeat to the other side. Okay, so we start our minute right now. And the triangle position, reach up and reach down simultaneous. As you are reaching, look up to the hand and also try your best not to stick your hips back too much. So you stay in a good posture, hopefully better than mine, and you reverse the movement, always with this tension of the hand upwards to the ceiling, okay? So never relaxing this hand that is on top, yeah? We are past halfway in our minute now, so this is also stretching a little bit your lower back and your legs as well if you're doing it properly. You can open your triangle more, so you can make this base a little bit bigger for the last 10 seconds. Yeah, and just make sure to do a couple repetitions as we finish our minute like so. So all warmed up and ready for a kihon, basic technique. We will do an exercise called Teno Kata. And even though it's called Kata, that's just because there's a predetermined structure uh, or form to do these basic movements. So find yourself some space, enough room for a step forwards and a step backwards. And we get our clock running and this is how we go. Forwards, oitsuki jodan. Return, and the same on the other side. Return, chudan. Return, chudan. Return, we change to gyaku jodan. And return, gyaku jodan. And return, same for chudan. And on the other side. Okay? Then backwards, age uke. Return, other side. Return, soto uke. Other side. Return, uchi uke. Other side. Return, gedan barai. And other side. And that is our one minute. Basic kihon, number one. Is this still working? Okay, so the next kihon is stances and transitions. Start sideways in a kibadachi. Side position, shift to zenku tsudachi. Power forwards, hips back, koku tsudachi. Hips forwards, zenku tsudachi. And weight back, neko ashirachi uchiuke, mai geri, yoko geri, and restart. Gedanbarai, gyakutsuki. Shuto uke, shuto uchi. Uchi uke, my giri, reverse the kicks, yoko giri back, and restart. Okay, I will start my clock, and 
we do this three times slow, medium and fast one minute starts now And medium speed. And fast. And that's one minute. And our final Kihon exercise for now will be the technique of the day. I have chosen a Yoko Geri, so a side kick, done mainly in two ways. So Kekomi, the thrust kick, and Keage, the snap kick. Today we will do the Keage. This is a technique that troubles many of us, so uh, let's see if we can get it to improve. So the exercise is gonna go like this. You start with your feet together and you make, you make your foot travel up close to your other leg, yeah, so that your toes are pointing straight forwards. That will make your knee stick out to the side, the same side where you will kick. So don't let your leg be very separate from your body like this. Instead of that, bring it up close to the other leg and perform your kick. This is a little bit shorter distance than the thrust kick, okay? 30 seconds on each side, starting now. So we start in Kamai and in the beginning a little bit slower to develop the technique, to develop the feeling. Make sure the foot returns after the kick, so don't let it drop. Yes, and as you understand, speed up a little bit more and more until you complete 30 seconds on each side. And we are now in the last repetition for this side and we are going to change to the other side doing the same exercise on the left leg, starting a little bit slower and building up the speed as we go, making sure the leg returns, a little bit shorter than a thrust kick because the distance for this application is also shorter, so the toes must always be sideways, otherwise will be, it will be a front kick. And that is one minute of Yokogeri Keage. Now, instead of these two last Kihon exercises, you can use those two minutes to practice your own level, your own belt syllabus. So the techniques that you need to get ready for your next belt test, or then just the techniques that you have been struggling with the most. Next we move on to Kata. So we will do Basai Dai, a very important Kata, um, a moderate level kata in Shotokan, but one of the pillars of our style. I'm going to make a little bit more space by taking this stool away. Um, you might need to choose a different kata to adjust to the space that you have at your home, uh, or like me, you might need to adjust the kata steps a little bit. So in my case, I think I'm going to take a few less steps when I go in the front line, just to make sure that I don't um, get out of the camera view. All right, so Clock is ready and we will do three repetitions of the kata, one slow, one medium speed and one fast. By the end of the three repetitions we should have, I think, three minutes on the clock, even though they take different amounts of time. So we start Basai Dai three times right now. Basai Dai.
Next, we're going to work on kumite exercises. Two minutes, one minute for attacking combos and one minute for defensive combos. First, the attacking combos, we are going to do four different ones uh, in this order, so that we do both sides of the body. Combo number one, kizamitsuki gyakutsuki. Combo number two, gyakutsuki gyakutsuki. Combo number three, gyakutsuki and mawashigeri. And combo number four, kizamitsuki and uramawashigeri. So when you come back, now you have the other side. Okay, so one minute of this. Uh, I will do it at a very moderate speed because unfortunately my carpet feels like it wants to go away. Uh, and one minute starting now. minute. Then we have defensive combos. So the first one is going to be two slides back with block up, block down and counter. Then move to the side and mawashigeri and kizamitsuki. Then dodge and up uramawashigeri. And finally full step back protect and kizamigyaku. All right so let's try. <clears throat> already losing my voice but all is fine that's what happens when you try to talk breathe exercise make a video all at one time and one minute starting now so one two counter side mawashi kizami then dodge and ura and then back full step protect kizami gyaku and restart block up block down gyaku side mawashi kizami then dodge and ura mawashi and back protect step and one two repeat and one two three four five six seven eight and nine ten and repeat one two three four five six seven eight and nine ten and that should make you one minute of defensive combos next we relax so a couple of cool down exercises one minute for lower body and one minute for the upper body Position yourself on the floor. I'll get my clock here with me. Position yourself on the floor in a way that your back is fully relaxed. So you lie back and your shoulders are both touching the floor like this. Your hands are on the side. Then you lift your feet and you turn your hips all the way till you cannot turn anymore. Uh, and then just drop the knee all the way down. You can help with the other hand as well. You can press down. Make sure you're shoulder blades stay on the floor and then you do the same to the other side okay we're also going to do this with the foot straight so stretch stretching your leg as much as you can so it activates actually more on the side it stretches your muscles a little bit more so the acid does not uh, remain there after the exercise all right so one minute for the lower body starting now back flat hands on the floor and feet twist and draw always breathing at the same time of the exercises just like I told you during Kihon and Kata uh, and then to the other side release 
twist first and then knee down heavy 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 help with your hand as well all right and release so you should feel not only on the side of the hip but also on your lower back and uh, hopefully not so much on the shoulders because the shoulders should be relaxed but if you have um, some built up uh, stress or built up tension in your muscles you probably will feel as well in your upper body okay so one more to this side just like this and then just to finish that first minute we're gonna put knees together to one side and arms to the other and keep the movement going so now we're going to the middle of our back and starting the upper body transitioning from relaxing the lower body to the upper body right and now we then go to the upper body we have about 45 seconds so we stretch our back all the way down all the way backwards still elongating the arms forwards 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 that should release the shoulder blades and then we put the right shoulder on the floor and up and down again with the other hand up and down and then you change hands and you do the same lift down and up and down lifting the other one up good return that makes up for two minutes one minute upper body one minute lower body finishing today with one more relaxation exercise we have one last minute and for that minute i want you to relax your mind our mind does work as hard or harder than your body believe it or not so we do a little bit of mokso uh, in japanese translating to the study of emptiness so please try to relax your mind and prepare to face the rest of your day with a positive attitude and no, I won't make you look at me for one minute with my eyes closed. So I hope you enjoyed this 15-minute uh, workout that turned out to be a two-hour video, uh, but not for you. You will have perhaps a 20-minute, 25 minutes to uh, keep up with this. Uh, enjoy the video, enjoy the workout, and see you next time. Mokso!